Welcome to the Rusted Garden. This is my mid-June tour. I'm going to show you my pepper plants, tomatoes, cucumber, squash, zucchini. Show you, um, I guess, some trellising, op trellising options. There's a lot going on. This is my sweet pepper garden right here along the fence here. I just weeded this out yesterday and I removed three or four inches of the leaves from the bottom of the peppers. You don't do a lot of pruning for peppers unless you're specifically topping them off early to get more sturdy bushy growth. But I like to take out a couple inches from the bottom just to let the air circulate around. Some wild dill growing in around there. Well, not wild, but reseeded. This is my kiwi plant right in here. And I've had it at least seven years now. It has not flowered, but slightly last year when I added some phosphorus. And if you ever wondered what triple phosphate might be good for, well, I'm trying to really up the phosphorus in here to get this plant to bloom. It's a male and female kiwi, and I was hoping to get a kiwi before I moved. I may be moving this year to a new location. Real quick in here are my third wave of tomatoes. These are my cherry tomatoes that went in uh, maybe a week ago. And they're going to be taking over the space of a lot of the greens and things that I'm taking out of here. I also have a lot of my flowers in bloom. They're attracting the pollinating insects, butterflies, all kinds of different things. I really recommend, as I've said in other videos, to have some flowers, perennials, annuals in your garden. Let's go right over to here. I've got my kale bed. That is actually going to be uh, the star vegetable in the next Grow It, Cook It, Eat It. These are my indeterminate tomatoes, caged. They've been pruned yesterday to a single stem or a double stem. I've been removing the leaves from the bottom, but they're doing really, really well. Standard dark green zucchini in a cage. That's just to help keep the leaves off the ground so I can get in there more easily, take care of bugs and stuff. That's a round zucchini. This is my sunken container garden with various ways to trellis cucumbers. That's a lemon cucumber right there in the middle. Uh, zucchini and squash. Have some yellow squash starting in there. Hopefully they get pollinated. If you ever had, you know, two inch three inch squash or zucchini that brown, that's because they ended up not getting pollinated. They start out looking great, but if they don't get pollinated, they will brown off and die. Just different trellising options. That's a bush scallop zucchini, which is a, is a bush scallop um, squash that actually does vine. So it will go straight up that and I will use it to maintain it because I do get squash bugs, powdery mildew, different things. And part of the strategy is I wish you could remove every bad insect and every disease. It's just stay ahead of it enough so that you get a good, you know, crop out of your plants before they die off. These are a determinate variety. These are part of my first wave of tomatoes that went in and you can see all the tomatoes that are on here. That is a Siberian. It's a new determinate cherry size tomato I'm growing. More cucumbers. These are bush champions. This cage will help contain them so the leaves again are going up in the air. I can get in there, spray them if I need to. More tomatoes, a copia, a coyote, that's a new variety. Just the other side there. A bird bath is nice to have in your garden too because sometimes birds come in and they peck holes in your tomatoes. They're not really eating them, they're actually thirsty. So if you supply them some water, sometimes they leave your tomatoes alone. These are my hot peppers with onions in the middle there. The onions were seed started in January in my kind of overseeding method. They're doing really, really well. More cucumbers back there, some determined tomatoes in containers. Again, this was my first wave, the determinative variety tomatoes, which are tomatoes that get to a set height, produce, and then they die off. Brussels sprouts are looking pretty good. I just dropped in some more cherry tomatoes right in there, which will mature and get to size as these die out here on the right, so they're not going to compete with each other. More kale. Good idea to put kale in different places because they do get white flies. If you put them all in one area, sometimes then all your vegetables get attacked at the same time. If you spread them out, you know, kale over here may not get a white fly attack. The kale up on, you know, on the hill that I showed you may get white flies. And in fact, it did. I just had a spray for them. Some more indeterminate variety tomatoes. 
coming in here, starting to put in new things. That's chervil back there and a grapevine. Some more cucumbers, different trellising options that I've shown in other videos. They're doing really well. And then finally for this tour, you know, my second wave of the indeterminates again. They're getting up to size and they've been pruned down and thinned to single stem, double stem, and just thinned up, tied to the stakes. And that's the quick tour. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't want to keep you too long. I could go on for hours when I'm giving a tour. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.